decent third take on this fucking video. But then I ran out of space. Woo! Whoop the fucking do. I'm tired and I have to make this video now or else I will not be able to get it out for the fucking weekend. Because I can't do the videos on the day. I have to do them on the night. Because I have my fucking reasons. Anyway. Akko from Little Witch Academia. Really am happy with this. Their paint job turned out really nice. Really nice coating on it. Just completely changed the white parts into purple parts. And the camera isn't picking up very well. They make everything darker thanks to this poor ass lighting. You know, I would like to have fucking lighting mean, from here, here, and here, here, just completely surrounding it, but that's not happening. And getting a better camera, or phone, whatever, that's not happening. So we have to make do with what we have, unfortunately. So as you can see, your sculpt, really nice looking. It's a little bit crooked, but it's fine, really. I don't really care about that much, but it's visible, so might piss some people off but whatever I think it did a pretty good job making it smooth and all not too many errors or ugly parts I mean you can just see a couple of things right here you know it's not smooth you can see some like textures that it's not supposed to be there but then you got the textures that I actually meant to have right there for the tied up hair right there it really looks great I have no complaints really. So you got her face, really like it. The eyelashes adds to the character, because she has that. It will be the same deal with Susie. She will have an eyelash going right here, just like so, just one like that. No big deal, but adds to the character. So I try to give her face just this really energetic look. And I think I got that with the eyes and everything. So I'm happy with it. No complaints really. The torso I really like. I was really surprised when I started painting in these um, salmon pink parts. That's when the whole thing just started looking a whole lot better. I was a little bit concerned when I had just the uh, purple parts painted and then the rest was just white. I was a little bit concerned, but once I started painting that, it just turned out really nice. You know, she's got her bow tie and then the thing right there. I don't know what the fuck that is, but whatever. And then she's got her red belt going all the way around. Buckle right there. And then we have the part that I'm really proud of with this figure, is the lower part of the robe. Really am happy with this, it just looks great. Really just adds the feeling that it's just one piece of clothing. Really like it, compared to what I did at first, I painted the, uh, tried to paint this lower part on the legs. But unfortunately, it ended up looking like shorts. And we cannot have that. So I just did that, but I kept the uh, painted parts, just because, so. Yeah. Then boots is nothing special, she just has a red line running right there, and that's it. Not much to that. So, that's pretty much all there is to show and talk about Akko. I mean, she's basically just a school uniform character. It's not much to talk about. Compared to series where the uh, where the characters have different outfits, so you know you get all the details in. And there's a lot more to talk about, whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, comment down below, and tell me what you think. Please support me through my Patreon page, and I will see you guys next time. Mm, bye.